Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. So in this video, I will discuss about differences between method overloading and method overriding. Okay, so let's see with one by one. Okay, so the first difference is first we need to understand what is overloading and what is overriding. So defining multiple methods with same name and different signature is called method overloading. Okay, here in the method overriding, Defining multiple methods with same name and same signature is called method overriding. Okay, so signature is nothing but number of parameters in the method. Okay, so let's see with the help of example here. I'm just going to create. So I have created one ex polymorphism exp class. Okay, so I will here show you how the method overloading will work. And there is one more class here. Uh, here uh, my base class and I am having one more child class. So I am going to use this for uh, showing the method overriding concept. Okay, so let me uh, add some code here to show you the method overloading. So I have already uh, written the code. So I'm just going to paste it here. So this is the method I have created. These these three methods I have created here. So you can see here I'm having a display method and it is asking for integer parameter and another display method it is asking two integer parameter and I'm having another uh, display method this is asking two parameter first one is integer and second one is string type okay guys I need to call this method in this uh, main method here I have created the object of this class okay so I, I need to call this function so display method I need to call here now it is ask, it is saying like we are having three methods so first is asking integer parameter it is asking two num uh, two integer parameter and the third one is asking first one is uh, integer type and second parameter is string type so you need to call accordingly so suppose if i will call the first method integer method and i am passing here five and it will give you the output as expected so i'm just going to run it so first let me so i have set the uh, startup class startup object now run it now what are output you will get you will get output as number is equal to 5 okay so you can see here the output is number is equal to 5 number 5 okay so this is nothing but method overloading okay guys here what you can see here we are having multiple methods with the same name but different number of parameters or we can say different signature here method overloading is defining multiple method with the same name but different number of parameters okay so let me show you how to work with that uh, method overriding so here i have created one class my base class and another is my child class so my child class is inheriting my base class so here i have created the parent and child relationship between the classes and this is the class test and this is the main class and here i am having a main method so here i have created the object of this child class so let me add one method here so what it is saying here defining multiple method with the same name and different signature is called method overriding so let's understand second difference and then i will uh, add the code here okay so the second difference is in the method overload overload is all about defining multiple behaviors to a method so here what we are doing we are do defining multiple behaviors okay so here we are have this method behavior is different and this method behavior is different and this method behavior is different okay suppose if i want to call this uh, function so what i have to do here i have to pass this suppose i would need to pass here uh, interview point so we are calling the same method display method but here i have changed the number of parameter okay so if i will write here interview point and if i will run it now output will be changed so it will say hello interview point the value is five okay you can see here that output is changed based on the number of parameter i have passed here okay so let's see uh, i have i need to create add some method here so guys i already have created the code so i just need to paste it here okay and the same method i need to create into the child class so here i have uh, pasted the child class method so what it is saying here i am having add function and it is asking two parameters first one is integer and second one is also integer in the child class it is having add method with the same number of parameter and data type of parameter so data type is also same here okay so it is called a uh, method overriding so here what we did we are have created multiple method with the same name and same signature so signature is nothing but number of parameter okay so here we are saying we can see here in the both the parameters are integer types okay so we are having we can say same name and same signature okay so this is nothing but method overriding and what you see here over overriding is all about changing the behavior 
behaviors of a parent's method into the child class. So you can see here, this is the parent class and this is the child class. So guys, here, what our uh, what is our definition saying? So guys, here, what we are doing, we are changing the behaviors of this method into the child class. Okay, so this is the parent class. My base class is parent's class and this my child class is child class. So we are changing the behaviors of this method, add method. So you can see here, overriding overriding all about changing the behaviors of parents method into the child class so let me call this function so i have created the child class method here and i need to call this method so obj dot i have add method here so what i have to do here i need to pass two integers suppose one and five okay so what happens here so it will give you the output as uh, this method uh, will be it will return output as result is equal to six okay uh, let me set the startup object and i will show you this output so what it is saying result is equal to six okay so here what it what we are doing we are changing the behaviors of this method suppose if i will pass here zero now what output we will get we will get please enter positive integers only okay we are getting this method but if i will call this method suppose if i will call this method parent class method if i am calling here and now see the output it will give you the output result is equal to five but in in this case what it is checking it is checking the number should be positive integer here but in this case it is not checking so that's why we are saying we are changing the behaviors of parents class method into the child class okay guys i hope this point is clear now now let's move to the third point third point is method overloading in the method overloading third point is it can be done within the same class or between parent and child classes as well okay so method overloading concept we can do within the same class or we can also use it into the parent and child class in the method overriding it can be done only between parent child classes but not within the class so method overriding concept is not possible within the same class so we must have to use parent and child class relationship between uh, while working with the method overriding concept okay guys so the next point is to overload method under child class child class does not require any permission from its parents class okay so when we are working with the method overloading here child class doesn't require any permission okay in the method overriding it is required so to override a parents method under child class child class requires to take an explicit permission from its parents so let's move to the th uh, next point so that this point is clear for you in the method overloading here we don't need to use overload keyword in the method overload we are not using any overload keyword here but in case of method overriding here we need to use virtual and override keyword to override method so here in the method overriding concept what we have did we have created this method as virtual and this method as override so here we can say it is required the permission okay it is asking the permission without permission we cannot uh, override this method okay guys so that's why this it this is saying to override a parent method under child class child class requires to take an explicit permission from its parent class so the next point is the method overload it is called the compile time polymorphism so method overload is also called compile time polymorphism in the method overriding it is called runtime polymorphism okay so this these are the differences between method overloading and method overriding so guys there is one more differences here that i observe here so here we have to use public keyword but in this case it is not mandatory okay so here it is not required we can create this uh, private method as well or uh, private product as well okay but here we have to use public keyword into the while working with the method overriding concept okay guys so i hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next video so thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed you can follow me on facebook twitter and linkedin this is my blog url you can check it out guys if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment please provide your feedback thanks